Afghanistan has been marred with isolated attacks taking place across the length and breadth of the country, particularly after the Taliban stormed to power in August last year. Since then, disparate militia groups in their bid to exert their dominance have launched attacks. In the latest, a huge blast rocks one of the biggest mosques in Afghanistan's western city of Herat, killing at least 18 and injuring some 23 people. A massive explosion ripped through a mosque in Afghanistan, left at least 18 dead. The blast took place during the Friday prayers in the biggest mosque in western city of Herat. A leading pro-Taliban cleric, Mujib Rahman Ansari, is among 18 people killed in the blast. According to police, Ansari was arriving at Gazargah Mosque to lead Friday noon prayers when a suicide bomber kissed the cleric's hand and detonated an explosive device. Unverified images on social media appear to show a number of bloody eight corpses lying amid a scene of devastation outside the mosque compound in the western Afghan city. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack, but the Islamic State group has previously issued videos threatening the pro-Taliban cleric. خطیب صاحب از این مسیر طرف مسجد می رفتم ناگان به من که رسیدم یکی از خدا ناتر سی ازی بر بیام که من مصاحبه می کنم خطیب خطیب صاحب مانع شدیم خطیب صاحب گفتم بگذاریم بیای وقتی که پیش اومد از پشت سر کو بغل زد یکی از وظیفین خطیب صاحب دید که مشکوک او کش کرد انفجار کرد Meanwhile Islamic State group targeted the Russian embassy in Kabul at least 8 people got killed in the suicide bombing According to sources, the bomber detonated the explosives near the entrance of the building in the southwestern part of the capital. Two members of the embassy's staff are among the dead, and as many as 15 others were injured. Today, three hours ago, there was a terrorist act. Неизвестный боевик привел в действие взрывное устройство в непосредственной близости от входа в консульский отдел нашего посольства. Погибли два наших товарища и незамедлительно был предпринят комплекс мер по усилению охраны внешнего периметра. Привлечены дополнительные силы талибских властей, задействованы возможности службы разведки и контрразведки Афганистана. Будем надеяться на то, что устроители этого террористического акта и его исполнители понесут заслуженные наказания в самое ближайшее время. Сейчас я предлагаю почтить память наших товарищей минуты молчания. The two groups are now engaged in a murky and bloody battle. The security situation in the country, which had improved after the end of fighting following the Taliban takeover, is seen to be deteriorating. On one hand, Afghanistan faces an endless threat of terrorism. On the other hand, the country finds itself gripped by the severe restrictions imposed by the Taliban. The hardliners deprived millions of Afghan women of their right to education, ousted tens of thousands of women from jobs, and banned women's businesses and all sorts of activism. Not only are the women in Afghanistan suffering, but more than 90% of Afghans have been facing a shortage of food. Afghanistan is now facing one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. The Afghan economy has no cash to pay salaries or buy food. Western aid has been suspended because the Taliban government includes designated terrorists. Millions of Afghans face acute malnutrition and starvation. The Taliban lack capacity to manage these monumental challenges 
but there is no clear alternative to their rule.